Welcome to all everybody. I hope you guys have been having a fabulous day today. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Reformation. Um, and I brought a special surprise guest onto the show to help me talk about it. You guys are going to have to wait and find out who that is. <laughs> okay, so before I get started, I just want to give you guys a little background information on the Reformation. Uh, I don't know, background information, Reformation. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's go. The Reformation was a 16th century movement for uh, reform against the corruption and abuse within the Catholic Church. The result uh, was the, were the establishment of Protestant churches. So um, now here from Germany, drum roll please. I'd like to introduce to you the one and only Martin Luther. Oh, I know. My name is Martin Luther, and some of you. Uh, make, some may call me the father of the Reformation. I've had a crazy life. I went to law school, got struck by lightning, became a monk, and started my own church. And now I have two people named after me, Martin Luther King Sr. and Martin Luther King Jr. Well, enough about that. Let's talk about Lutheranism, my church, and then I'll give the floor back to Vanessa. Shortly after I became a monk, I was sent to the University of Wittenberg, where I witnessed the sale of indulgences. For those of you who don't know, indulgences are something very bad. A donation to the church in return for an official document granted by the Pope of the remission of the time you were forced to spend in purgatory. This should not be a thing. I was very upset by this as I believe that forgiveness is not something that should be bought and sold. I started to become fascinated by the sale of indulgences, and I mailed my 95 theses to the door of the church. My 95 theses consisted of 95 points. 95 points. Ninety-five theses, like I said, consist of ninety-five points discussing corruption within the Catholic Church, specifically the sale of indulgences. I nailed the door of the church to the public display in my criticism on October thirty-first. 15, 17. I don't like to give away my age. I, I don't look very old, as you can see, so I don't really like to say that at 15, 17, I did that, because it's now 2015, so let's ignore that. <laughs> Since the church did not accept my complaints, I started my own reformed version called Lutheranism, which I think you should join. In addition to my 95, in addition to this, my 95 theses spurred a whole movement. That's how fantastic I was. And created a whole new category of Christians called Protestants. Protestants are members, followers, or believers of any Christian church not associated with the Roman Catholic Church, including my own, Lutheranism, named after myself, Martin Luther. Ta-ta! I must be going. My nine-hour flight back to Germany awaits. I hope you guys like your special guest, Martin Luther. He flew all the way from Germany, as he said. Uh, long flight, nine hours. So, thank you to him. So, in addition to his uh, wonderful additions to um, history, the Calvinist Church was also formed. So, Calvinism is the Protestant system based off the teachings of John Calvin and his successors. The religion emphasizes Lutheran's doctrines of jurisdiction through faith alone, which is not through the sale of indulgences, but builds on that with his idea of predestination. Predestination is the belief that God already knows where you're going to where you will go in the afterlife. Uh, for example, heaven or hell. And there's nothing you can do about it to change God's decision. So Protestantism became very popular, and in response to its spread, groups like the Jesuits also started to emerge. The Jesuits were a group of Catholics formed by Ignatio Loyola, 
1540, they believed in educating and training priests, converting non-Christians to Catholicism, and stopping the spread of Protestantism. There you go. That's everything on the Reformation. Um, I'll be doing the Thirty Years' War tonight, which is part of the Reformation, but it didn't really flow with any of these things. So check that out for a second video. I'm going to have a lot there. See you guys tomorrow.